This vast expanse of water is one of England's great estuaries. But what if this wilderness could be tamed? The proposed barrage from Lincolnshire to Norfolk will include a road, a container port and a tidal energy scheme. We have 700 square kilometres of the wash going up and down about four and a half metres a day. And uh, in the structure there will be up to 15 turbines capturing this in both directions which should generate enough power for around about 600,000 homes equivalent usage. Developers say another benefit of the £2 billion project is that it could act as a flood defence. This part of England is highly vulnerable to tidal surges. Dozens of lives have been lost over the decades. And at the Westminster launch of the barrage plan, farmers said it could offer protection for valuable land around the wash. We definitely can't turn our back on the, the, the quantity and quality of land we have in the fens um, and we really need to protect it to protect the national food security. But this area is also home to internationally significant populations of seabirds and seals. There's no doubting the ambition, the imagination of this project. It will transform this landscape. But perhaps for that reason, voices of concern are already being heard. It's just not needed. It's absolutely bonkers. It feels like something that would have come out of an early episode of The Apprentice. It's been that badly put together. We're just on the edge of the UK's most important estuary for wildlife. Phenomenally an area of global importance, but also an area where people earn their living, the fishermen and the port industries. None of them have been consulted about this plan. Our fundamental mission is to ensure that the wash stays very much as it is today and that we protect all the residents around the wash because otherwise I think we're facing in the longer term a catastrophic situation where a surge tide will overcome the sea defences. Boston Borough Council says the project offers both jobs and environmental benefits but Centreport's developers face two big challenges raising the two billion pounds needed to build it and winning the hearts and minds of those who are concerned a barrage could harm this unique place. Paul Murphy, BBC Look North, on the Lincolnshire Wash.